I want to show another uh, topic. I'm going to talk about the disk manager uh, utility. And uh, I just want to, this is an advanced topic. If you don't know what you're doing, uh, probably don't try this. Uh, if you do know what you're doing, um, I'm going to show you how to do it. Anyways, uh, I'm going to move the mouse over here into the uh, left hand corner, right mouse button, click on it. I'm going to go into disk management. And this will show me the hard drives that are currently on my computer. And you can see that I have one disk. It's disk zero. And the first partition in the disk, each one of these blue things, is a partition. The first partition is uh, system reserved. So it's 100 meg, and it's an NTFS file structure. And uh, it's healthy right now, so the computer thinks that everything's working smoothly and it is uh, my first partition here is my C uh, and that's a, a partition that I can get to by going to the file um, file manager by clicking on the icon on the desktop and going to computer and right here I can see my C drive here's my C drive up here uh, it says it's 200 and or sorry, 420 gig. It says 420 gig up there, and it shows me my free capacity and the percentage that it's free. It shows me that it's uh, healthy, and it's, it says here boot, so it's my boot partition. So my, my primary operating systems or system is loaded in the boot partition. Then I have a primary partition here, which is my D, and again, if I go to the file manager, we can see the D partition here. And we see an area over here that's unallocated. So here's more disk space that I haven't turned on yet. And what I want to do is I want to turn this on, and we're going to run something called virtualization, and we're going to load different operating systems onto this partition. So each operating system I want to load is probably going to take maybe 200 meg, 200 gig, sorry. Um, and, uh, you know, depending on what you load on your operating system, I'm going to load a bunch of Unix um, operating systems because they're free, freely available on the Internet. You can download them, install them, and run stuff on them. So I was going to install a couple of Unix operating systems, and Unix is relatively a small... Uh, doesn't take up a lot of disk space so each one of those operating systems might be uh, 40 40 gig or more so I'm gonna say maybe I want to do 10 of them so I'm gonna I'm gonna allocate another hard drive called uh, my probably my e drive I guess my e drive is a removable drive F drive is a removable drive G drive is my DVD, so maybe I can have an H drive. So we'll uh, right mouse button click in the black area here. Do a new simple volume. We'll run the wizard here. And I'll say I want this to be, uh, we, we could just make it be half. Again, you can make it be all of the disk space. And again, if you bought a new hard drive and you plugged it into the computer, this is how you'd set up your new hard drive. Uh, we can go and say, uh, I'm going to say maybe 500. So I'm going to delete that and I'll type in 500. 500, and it's in megabytes, so I have to add another three zeros after that. And then I'll choose next. I'll say I want the drive to be the H drive. NTFS is good. We can change the name of the volume, so I'll call this... Uh, uh, I might put other stuff out there other than operating system. I'll just call it data. Data 2. And uh, most hard drives that you buy are pre-formatted, so we just want to do a quick format. I don't know if you can get hard drives anymore that are not formatted, and if you format them, it'll take a long time. So if you can do the quick format, It'll uh, be done really quickly. So I'm going to choose a finish here. 
And now you, I still have free space here that I haven't that I'm not using on my disk. But now I've created another logical drive that's healthy. And it has a little bit less than 500 gig. And most of that's for error correction and everything else. So don't worry about that. So it's a 488 gig. And uh, that's that. We can kill this window. Now you see that I have an H drive on my computer. So that's kind of how you run the disk management program.